you very much. Alistair Heath there. You're watching BBC News. The time is 11 minutes past nine. Some breaking news for you from Syria. The Syrian president, Bashar al-Assad, has named a former agriculture minister, Riyad Hijab, as prime minister. He's going to form a new government after last month's parliamentary election. That's according to state television, Syrian state television. Hijab replaces Adal Safa. He was appointed in April last year, and that followed uh, an uprising which erupted in the south of the country and later spread, of course, right across the country, which presented President Assad with his biggest challenge to his 12-year rule. We'll have more on that later, but uh, let's turn to the Olympic torch, which has arrived in Ireland. It's the only time the flame will go outside the UK on the relay. Yes, on the 19th day of its journey to the Olympic Stadium, it'll travel 124 miles through four communities, Newry, Lisbon and Belfast, and it starts the day in Dublin. Let's get more from our correspondent in Dublin, and that is Robert Hall. Robert, good morning. Good morning, Simon, from St. Stephen's Green. A lot of people have said to me, why has the torch come to Dublin? Quite simple, really. The Irish Olympic Association said, look, we're not going to get an Olympics in Dublin. They contacted the IOC and said, what can you do? We'd like to get involved with the relay. The IOC said yes. So it's going to be uh, in Dublin for about six hours. Things started very early this morning on the border when the torch was handed over by the Olympic boxing medalist uh, Wayne McCulloch. He's from Belfast and he handed it over to Michael Carruth from Dublin. One is a Protestant, one is a Catholic. They became close friends during the 1992 Olympics. It then come on down to a place called Howth on the outskirts of, of uh, Dublin where it was welcomed by the Irish president. And from then on, it's roughly going to follow the route that was taken by the Queen when she was here. So it comes on into Dublin, past a number of historic sites, uh, down O'Connell Street at government buildings. It's welcomed by the Irish president. Uh, no political figure can touch the torch, so uh, he won't be taking hold of it for any photo opportunities. And it then comes uh, It is currently at Croke Park, the uh, stadium. I'm just looking behind me at those screens. Uh, hope you can see those pictures from Croke Park because it's more than a hundred foot up on a walkway <laughs> above the stadium. Fantastic views of the city. Not for me, but uh, the torchbearer there seems to be quite happy with it. It's an amazing place to uh, to travel through. It's actually open to the public that walkway uh, most of the time. Not this morning though. Look at that image. Another fantastic image of that torch. It's coming back down to the ground, as I say, making its way across the Liffey into St Stephen's Green, where I'm standing now. I, there are about 40 plus torchbearers uh, here in Dublin. Amongst them are two that uh, will, at, le at the very least, raise a ripple in the crowds, and they are Jedwood. Jedwood are going to carry the torch down O'Connell Street, right in the heart of Dublin, and from then they hand it on, and it comes here to St Stephen's Green. By which stage, I suspect, with the thousands of people that will have gathered and will be pouring into here, things will once again, as with this torch, have gone a bit mad. Jedwood, you must be very excited. <laughs> My heart is bounding. After their success, they did beat us in Eurovision, Simon. <laughs> Robert, thank you very much, Robert. Robert Hall there in Dublin. And you can also follow the torch a relay online. You can watch our video, check where and when it's going to be in your area, and even find out what the weather is going to be like when it gets there. All you have to do is go to bbc.co.uk slash 2012. You're watching BBC News now. A man has died. No problem. There. Well, but let's go over now to Ireland, and there we have the, uh, the Olympic torch coming through the streets of Dublin, and that, I understand, is Jedward. You know better than me. You're a pop, you're a pop follower, aren't that, you? That is Jedward. It is Jedward. Yes, exactly. Carrying that Olympic torch through the streets of Dublin. I hope it doesn't set light to the old hairspray, but anyway. Uh, let's have a look at... Now, the Olympic torch has arrived in Ireland on the 19th day of the relay. The Olympics Minister Jeremy Hunt says its 124-mile journey from Dublin to Belfast is to recognise the unique and deep ties between the UK and Ireland. Well, our correspondent Robert Hall is in Dublin, where the torch started out this morning and some rather high-profile torch carriers this morning. <laughs> yes, let's get those pictures out of the way first of all. Um, yes, pictures of Jedwood. They're amongst more than 40 torchbearers uh, during this six-hour trip to Dublin. They uh, took the flame down O'Connell Street right in the heart of the city. You can imagine the reaction there. We're expecting thousands of people everywhere pretty well that the torch goes. Uh, 5,000 uh, uh, on the outskirts of Dublin earlier, about 9,000 expected in the heart of the city in St Stephen's uh, Green where I am at the moment. 
So while we look at that, let me just give you a little bit of history because a lot of people have said, well, why has it gone to Dublin, the, the flame? The answer is that it's gone here because the Irish Olympic Association, which represents Olympic sportsmen and women throughout the island of Ireland, said, look, we may not have an Olympics here, but we'd like to get a sense of the torch relay. We'd like it to underline the way in which sport unites people uh, throughout the island of Ireland. And uh, they, they got the backing of Lord Coe, and hence, here it is. The flame crossed the border early this morning. It was passed, by, uh, passed from the north, as it were, to the south by the boxing medalist Wayne McCulloch, who's from Belfast. He passed it to Michael Carruth. Uh, one is Protestant, the other's Catholic. They met uh, when they were boxing at the Olympics in 1992. Both of them are medalists, in a way that uh, symbolises what I was just talking about. On to Howth to be welcomed by the Irish president, and then pretty well following a route that was taken by the Queen when she made her visit here. With one exception, though, because it's not just been on the streets, it's been above them. And at Croke Park the Stadium, it was oh, probably more than 100 feet on a skywalk which runs above the seating areas. It's uh, open to the public normally, but today it was closed so that the flame could have a fantastic uh, view of the city and, of course, probably one of the photo opportunities of the day. So we've talked about Jedwood. They've passed it on. It's making its way here. It's probably due here <coughs> at St Stephen's Green in about an hour. Crowds are starting to build up, and that sort of Olympic uh, fervour, which we've seen throughout the UK, is almost certain to reappear here in Dublin. Robert, we'll be back to you for that. Thank you very much. Robert Hall there in Dublin. And you can follow the Torch Relay yourself online. Just watch the video, check where and when it's going to be in your area. You can even find out what the weather is going to be like when it gets there. All you have to do is go to bbc.co.uk forward slash 2012.